Marcus Comedy TV give you the best news reviews comedy and entertainment TikTok videos and more. Please remember to like share and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I see that you are watching but you are not subscribing. Subscribe today thank you. Breaking news. A Florida woman is mourning the death of her husband who is suspected to have drowned while on a trip to Blue Hole in St. Anne last week. Yulissa Blakes and her husband, 33-year-old Damian Benjamin, were passengers on the Carnival Sunrise cruise ship that docked in Ocho Rios. She told Florida-based Wesh 2 News in a television interview that Benjamin, a rising tattoo artist, was a dedicated husband of 11 years who had been by her side through her battle with heart trouble. He was just there for me non-stop, always, all these years, she said. As a thank you gift to Benjamin, Blake said, she booked a cruise to Jamaica. That was my gift to him, she said. He was happy. The cruise arrived in Ocho Rios on Wednesday morning and, after it docked, the couple visited Blue Hole, a trip Blake said was not booked through the cruise line. She said her husband wished for them to both jump in the waterfall, but she was scared. He wanted me to go with him, and I just couldn't because my heart, so I just made the decision, okay, if you want to go, go. But then tragedy struck. A grief-stricken Blakes noted, that was the last time I saw him. Her husband drowned. What happened with Damien, I don't want ever to happen to anybody else again, she told Wesh 2 News. I had to see him die. Benjamin leaves behind sisters, a mother and a daughter, Blake said, remembering him as an angel on earth. In tribute to her late husband, Blake said the first thing she did when she returned home on Saturday was get a tattoo in his honor. It says, Damien, we only part to meet again, she told Wesh 2 News. In a statement, Carnival Cruise said, Carnival's care team is supporting the family of a guest who died ashore while Carnival Sunrise was in Ocho Rios, Jamaica, on Wednesday. Our thoughts are with the guest's family at this time. In other news, Kingston man charged with murder, possession of illegal firearm. Kingston, Jamaica. A 28-year-old man was charged with murder, possession of prohibited weapon, unauthorized possession of ammunition, and using a firearm to commit a felony, following an incident on Smith Lane in the parish on Tuesday, March 28. Charged is Shane McKenzie of Wildman Street, Kingston. Dead is 27-year-old O'Neill West, otherwise called Mad Max of Smith Lane in the parish. Reports from Central Police are that about 11.25 a.m., West was walking along the roadway when he was approached by Mackenzie and another man, who had a brief conversation with him. It is alleged that the men opened gunfire at West, killing him. An investigation was launched and Mackenzie was arrested on Saturday, April 15. He was charged on Monday, April 24, after he underwent a question-and-answer session in the presence of his attorney. Andre Ruddick, who has confessed to committing murder during a ritual at Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries in 2021, was denied bail on Monday due to the belief that he could become a homicide victim if he is released from custody. Additionally, Supreme Court Judge Vanette Graham Allen cited the possibility of him not showing up for trial, based on the seriousness of the allegations against him. Ruddick is accused of murdering Tanika Gardner on October 17, 2021, during a ritual at the church in St. James. He allegedly cut Gardner's throat. The accused must be kept in custody for his own protection. The bail application is, therefore, denied, Justice Graham Allen said. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.